out loud. <laughs> I like you too, Phil. I like you too. You like me while I'm holding you. Yeah, that's right. Mate, I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, to talk about uh, the accurate vario, I don't know if, if you saw my last video, but I've got a, a video of um, landing with a camera here, yeah, right? Yeah. And just as my feet touch the sand, it goes to zero feet. It was just... Per hang on, hang on, just hang check. It was just... Just perfect. Okie dog. No, it was perfect machinery. It just... Yeah, is it... Is it over a bit? Okay. Just flatten me up and hang on till I get that's better. Okay, alright. Now we'll... You reckon it's not it's not coming down? Yeah. You can say you're out of here. Thanks. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Clear. the days where I fly, my style of flying, as I think I've explained a few times, is I'm a, I'm a vertical air pilot, not a horizontal air pilot. Uh, some people really enjoy scratching and the challenge of um, staying up in light conditions, and that's fantastic for them, but for me it's 20 knots, get up, take a breath, relax, enjoy the view, and just have fun. So, but she's a good day, she's a good day today. It was a bit strong earlier, it was uh, up around 22 to 24 knots, which was just over my limit, but we just waited and waited and uh, we got it down, it was beautiful. Very nice. Anyway, now for some playing. I'd better get out in front before I play too much there. In a uh, single surface, I'll get blown back a bit too far. All right, now we're down to about 570, about 30 feet higher than, or 10 feet higher than the hill, and we're climbing. So we'll have a little test down a bit lower, to see if there, we've still got enough lift down there. It's best not to. Um, fly directly down to the lower cliffs thinking that you'll find lift because sometimes there's none. Now I've got a glider coming towards me so I'll let him have it I think. Now yeah, well, I'm still... Well that's, that's a good sign. I tried to uh, drop some height and I just, as I let the bar out, I'm back up to 570 again so so there might be enough lift down there. I'll just let that glider get out of the way. I'll go down here, I think. down to 
325. Still a bit of lift here. just on the corner of this, this bowl here. It actually saved my bacon one day at the corner of this bowl. The wind um, was from there and I was down low and it dropped off and swung around this way and the only bit of lift along these lower cliffs was just that little bowl just there and I was low save the bacon that day because I don't know if you can see but there's nowhere to land from um, the bowl back to the beach. You should be able to get a shot of it from there. I was really low and there's nowhere to land so luckily I got the little bit of lift just there and I got back to the back to the chute but uh, well, that's the fun, I suppose, of flying a hang glider. But I usually don't like to push the limits that close. It's a strong day today. So I'm just sort of floating over the landing area at about 850 feet. But it's just nice just to have a view of our landing area through the chute and the windsock on the beach and the flags down on the sand you know, it's a bit hard to see the, the flags from here they're almost the same colour as the as the sand at the moment in this angle but yeah, just a little bit of a loop over the landing area it's nice to watch the sun reflecting on the lagoon the you can see how much wind's down there by the, the waves on the water Seeing as though uh, today is um, a boating and floating day, I thought I might just do some commentary about um, flying stamel in different conditions. Um, there is a house, you, you can't really call it a house of thermal, but over this stop sign just down here, this intersection, just in front of it, there's always lift, 99% of the time. So if it's on a really light day and you want to cross over to the back of the park, just do a turn around here. But just have to watch a bit of traffic, that's all. Um, and you want to cross over to the back of the park. Also, just over where the train tunnel uh, comes out from the mountain, which is just down in there, there's also another lift where you'll get lift if it's a really light day. Um, now I'm a conservative pilot, you know, you can take this however you wish, but um, I've found that if I want to make sure I'm reasonably safe, I don't leave this spot here just on the intersection until I'm at 800 feet. That way I know that when I cross over to the train tunnel, no matter what happens, I'm gonna, the video's going to be all over the place, I might just have to voice this over a still shot or something. Um, I know that no matter what happens, if, if the wind all of a sudden stops, I'll still have enough height to get back to the park. And another little tip is that um, if you want to have the smoothest ride over the back of the park, because sometimes, believe me, it get really rough, I then also top up here at the train tunnel, which is just there, to about a thousand feet. And that way, when the crossing over right into the back of the park, where those other gliders are there, I think you can see them, um, you get a smoother ride. If you cross over to the back of the park, lower, um, you may get up, or you may get the shit trashed out of you. So just know that um, the same as any site, you know, it can bite you. And if you get over to the back of the park, up in that little little valley.
valley thing there, low. If you have a look all the way back to the beach, there is nowhere to land except out on, on a beach or if you're lucky on the grass there. So get low in the back of the park in light wind at your own risk because um, there is nowhere to land to, uh, if you get right down in the valley down in there. Anyway, that's enough. It's about all that I want to say at this stage. Alright. It's almost straight down the chute. I might be able to land near the grass today. Look at those flags. Yep. Looks pretty good. stuff coming through the oh, oh I, nearly, <laughs> I nearly dropped the bloody base bar that's no good oh well my record's still straight still good yeah there's a bit of wind coming <laughs> yeah tried to land in a bit of rotor there 